What about like small adapters like the these? Do you have any favorites when it comes to these? Um, what the, is that the NE or the NA? The one at the bottom here is the um, yeah NHA. The NA. Yeah. This one that only supports 2.4, is that right? It, it only supports 2.4 gigahertz, yes, but I found that it has always, for me, been the easiest um, wireless network adapter agree, to, yeah. to work with. It just This is my favorite. It's yeah. just so rock yeah. solid, and the drivers are so good for it that every Linux tool yeah. that you're going to want to try out on it is just going to work the first time. And that's not something I can say with all of their newer ones. They're great, and they can do way more. But if you're a beginner and you're just getting, you know, you're just doing kind of the standard stuff and you don't need to be chasing stuff on the 5 gigahertz, then it's so much simpler and it's so much more like rock solid that that's my default one unless I know that there's a target that's five gigahertz. And that's when sometimes I'll stray into the Panda wireless ones. While I prefer Alpha as a brand, Panda wireless has some just dirt cheap wireless network adapters that do five gigahertz that look like a USB drive. And like that to me will probably get the managers called on me less if I have too many wireless network adapters sticking out of my uh, computer and I'm at like a shared space or something, which has happened before. I've been, I've been uh, called out for Wi-Fi hacking because someone thought I had too many wireless network adapters plugged into my laptop. That's hilarious. Yeah, I mean, I agree with you. This is my favorite, just like you said, because you can just plug it in and it works. These are nice. People always complaining, you know, they want to do five gigahertz. But like you said, you know, for beginners, it's a, it's a pain to get them to work.